Um, I think I've got the record of the street losses, 48 street losses. <laughs> 48, <laughs> I remember you saying, yeah. 48. I, th- I think I've got that record. I don't th- I'm trying to hear someone to break that record. I don't think no one's broken that I thought, record. I thought mine was bad. I thought because I had uh one point, when was it? It was when I first started, probably maybe about 15 or 16 <laughs> losses in a row. And I know how that felt. So I, I can't imagine even getting to something like 20, <laughs> let alone 40. Yes, 48 straight losses. The good thing wow. is that I I um, I had no idea what I was doing. I was listening. To, I was listening to a couple of um, people's um, ideas on on trading. It, it just wasn't working out, and right. I was kept on going back. Yeah, it just it wasn't working out. Hi, my name's Leon Rowe, currency trader and trading coach at trading180.com. And um, in this video, I have Alexandros, who is a Trading 180 member. Um, Been with me for a while, haven't you, Alexandros? How long have you been in the group? Yes, um, over a year, um, January 12th from 2022. 22, and you're a lifetime member, aren't you? Yes, 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 yes. yes. And... um, Yeah, um, I thought I would uh, ask Alexandros uh, for an interview because I know he's been doing, you know, quite well uh, trading 180 and um, we have a really good community and um, he is a valuable member of uh, the trading 180 community and, uh, you know, I value um, uh, Alexandros's opinion, analysis, we're always learning from each other, right, and um it's uh it's great to have you on the call, Alexandra. So welcome. Thank you, Leon. Yeah, brilliant. So uh Alexandros, um uh tell me about uh, how you actually got into trading in the first trading. Place. Yeah. Um I'll just give a quick brief uh, history about myself mm-hmm. um on how um I I ended up getting into trading. Um, um, I worked um, from the age of 14 as a refrigeration technician. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and over the past few years, um, my body is, was getting tired on me. I'm almost 50. Wow. So it's, it's a matter of age where um, I am still going to continue working as, as, as in, in, in my trade. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just needed something new in my life and I needed, I needed something um, to just sort of um, um, change something that to have something that more like a better income, yeah. And um, and I found um, trading. Um, okay. I, it actually actually came to me on a, on a site. It was an advertising site somewhere on on the internet, mm-hmm. and I just thought, you know, um, money online, something like that. Yeah, a lot of people sort of fall into this. Yeah, we all do, right? Yeah. We do. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, as I'm getting also maybe like as I'm approaching my my um, pension years, yeah, I could sort of start from now getting ready towards those years and sort of have a more easy life as I go up to service calls. Sort of mm-hmm. take it easier and Absolutely. have a and have a backup, more relaxed type of um, income. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how I sort of got started into into trade uh, into trading. Oh, yeah. brilliant! So before you met me, how long were you trading for? About a year, roughly, even okay. a bit more. Um, I was doing a lot of. I was trying to do a lot of reading. Right. Um, the hard thing was because I'm. Um, I consider myself very uneducated. I, I uh, finished high school. Um, basically, high school to me was more of a more of a. It wasn't my strongest point. Okay. Mathematics always was. Okay. I was it's my only strongest point, and classic woodwork, metalwork. Right. Working with my hands. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. My, my strongest points. Yeah. Okay. And yep. Yeah. And that's that's what um sort of um helped me um sort of I try to sort of get into trade into into, into that that um okay only so, with those, yeah yeah so you were trading for a year before you met me so that's you're still it was still fairly uh like a baby in the trading world uh you know still, still quite young yeah in the trade yes. in trading years you know yes. I mean, before you met me so. How did you uh, how did you find trading 180? Well, <laughs> um, this is this is what what clicked to me. Um, I was going through a lot of uh, videos on, online, YouTube videos, and um, what stood you out was 
um, even to this day, like I still um, think about that video um, because like I'm uneducated, especially with terms, um, the terminology seems very, very difficult for me to, to understand. Um, it's the way you were teaching, you were, you showed a video of you teaching someone and that, and when I saw that, I saw how you approached the student. I thought, I thought that was, that was like, to me, I said, this person's good. Like the way he's approaching him, he's coming down to his level, he's explaining to him that just, I said, I want this guy, like this guy, that's what sort of want me to sort of come into and see what's Leon all about. And, and, and um, he sounds good. He sounds what I want, like, like someone that that's ready to go into an environment where, where there's people with a lot of knowledge I'll be competing against and, yeah. trying to understand from people that understand a lot and you had those basics that sort of really um helped that person you, that you were teaching um right. i think i think it was a video with a lawrence i'm not sure if it was okay. it was a couple of years ago but it was right. around the lockdown period okay maybe it's okay. Right a bit after but i'm not sure i'm not sure Right. OK. Yep. Yeah. Because, you know, with, with things like fundamental analysis, especially fundamental analysis, it, there, as you say, there is a lot of um, uh, uh, terminology and you can kind of go into a lot of tangents. Right. We know it's a it's a it's a vast subject. And ultimately, um, you know, how I found my success in, in, in understanding fundamental analysis is to try just to simplify things. Right. Get things as simple as possible. And um, and I found that and I have to shout out my mentor, right, who's uh, Mark Chapman. He he did that for me. And so um, and I know what happened you know, to me in my life. So I would want to give back to, you know, other traders. And so uh, the way that he broke things down is the way that I kind of do the same thing for uh, for everyone that, you know, I, I, I mentor. And uh, I guess a question I would ask you would be, um, you know, obviously on on. Uh, everyone goes through this. I went through this where you watch hundreds and hundreds of videos, right, on YouTube, and you're thinking, um, you know, which strategy should I use? Should I take this bits from here, bits from there, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. But at some point, um, you have to put the um, what you learn in practice, right? Now, many traders tend to just, I guess, get lost in the wilderness in terms of just that video, YouTube, TikTok um, arena. How would you describe, I guess, the difference between just watching videos and trying to learn that way from actually being mentored by somebody and real mentorship, not just being in a room with a thousand traders and, you know what I mean? And, and you real know, we're in a chat room and it's just confusion and anarchy where it's actual mentoring, where, the, where, where, you're, where I respond to your questions, I speak to you on a weekly basis, etc. What's the, what's the difference with, between the two? This, I'll answer with, 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 one, with one basic out, outcome, my outcome. And I say this, and I say it, and I have mentioned this 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 to a couple of traders in our group. Um, I think I've got the record of the street losses, 48 street losses. <laughs> 48, <laughs> I remember you saying, yeah, 48. I, I, I think I've got that record. I don't th I'm trying to hear someone to break that record. I don't think no one's broken I that thought, record. I thought mine was bad. I thought, because I had uh, one point, when was it? It was when I first started, probably maybe about 15 or 16 <laughs> losses in a row. And I know how that felt. So I, I can't imagine even getting to something like 20, <laughs> let alone 40. Yes, 48 straight losses. The good thing wow. is that I... I um, I had no idea what I was doing. I was listening. To, I was listening to a couple of um, people's um, ideas on on trading, and it just wasn't working out. And right. I was kept on going back. Yeah, it just it wasn't working out. Crazy. But but the good thing is what it's it's um, it, coming to terms with it and having one thing I always had is is knowing how to keep a low risk man like keeping my risk management. That's that's comes from a different part of character. So yeah. it's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's sure. kept that's that thing's kept me in the game. That thing that yeah. Okay, so the difference between maybe learning from video and being mentored, um, you would say is what specifically like you know the gap between the two. So yeah. what? Yes. So for example, you know what what is it that yes. would, that you would say is putting is... putting when you when you put fundament for learning the fundamentals. Basically, understanding um, when when we, we we do we do forex, 
And when we're doing Forex, we have to come to understand what how banks think, move, um, markets, what they're thinking, if they what, how they're moving, if they're agreeing, if they're not agreeing, is there a divergence? Is there not a divergence? Um, and getting all that information, um, even the slightest little term can turn markets completely around. Mm -hmm. Putting all that on a chart, um, coming to a point where you know that looking that in the looking at a couple of weeks ago, what's been happening fundamentally at that point, mm -hmm. how prices auctioned at a certain area, creating. As I'm saying, if if something's developing, you're mm -hmm. understanding its development mm -hmm. and um, taking advantage of that specific point because you know that fundamentally um, markets agree or don't agree and it will create uh, a divergence or some type of movement because you have put that on a chart and it's kept on, it's kept on, it's kept us in, in formative mm -hmm. to move in that direction. I know my terminology, I don't have great terms, but whatever I, I've I know, learned yeah. this past year, it's been because of I've been reading for you from from the group and you and, and trading one in like it's helped me develop more into my, my terms. Brilliant. So yep. so under so understand so mentoring has I guess helped you get a bit more feedback, um, you know, in terms of clarifying maybe your thoughts, yes. things like um, you know, asking for guidance because Trading can be a very lonely, or it is a very lonely endeavor, right? And so you're you're kind of in your own head, aren't you? A lot of the time you're thinking, oh, and it's great that you can kind of maybe bounce off of other traders in the group, et cetera, right? Whereas if you're just watching videos. It's, it's if it wasn't for the group, like it's the mentorship, how each week you come, you speak with us, you answer our questions. And then there's the group. Ken Spence, they, they, these guys are unbelievable. They're like, they, they I, how many times I take off my hat for Ken? He's he's always, Ken. every time yeah, I say salute, something. Salute to Ken. Yes. You're this, Ken. He knows I love him. He knows. And everyone and everyone in the group, you know, Spencer, yes. Lawrence, yes. you know what I mean? Everyone, Everybody, Lawrence, yeah. yes. Yeah. They, they, um, every Mark, time, Mark I, yes. Yeah. yeah every time lots, there's yeah. something there that, that, that I, I um, have an idea on, um, I always express my opinion. I yeah. know I might be wrong. I might be right. This is the beautiful thing about trading by needy that 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 it's a group that people either agree or disagree. Mm -hmm. We we can we, we can disagree, which is very yeah. hard to find in a community. That when you when you're disagreeing with people, um, there, there tends to be a, a misunderstanding, which I've seen in another type of community. But this is the group that 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 things go really nice. Like even mm. people can understand and disagree on, on good terms. Mm. You know, there's no, it's, it's everybody in the group um, um, tends to sort of, it blends out nicely. It blends out yeah. nicely. Yeah. And um, it's, it's interesting that you say that, right? In terms of uh, people can have different views. Typically we have the same views, right? Yes. But there are times where I remember one time, I think it was when, um, when I think I must have been short on the euro, I think Ken was long on the euro. Yes. Right? And so, yes. Um, you I know, remember this does, chat. Yeah, yes. it doesn't. <laughs> it, it's it's not it's not it's not personal. It's it's no. I have my you know idea. He has his trade ideas, and I think Spencer might have been um, maybe uh, against me um, at one point, maybe on a pound or something like that. But at the end of the day, it's really about learning from myself, but also as well enhancing you know your skills and, because. You know, I'm, I'm always of the case of teach a man to fish or catch a man to fish and he eats for a day, teach a man to fish and he eats for a lifetime, right? That's yes, the whole is. point. And so if suddenly, you know, the worst was to happen, if I stopped trading 180 or I just disappear, I would never dis just disappear. But if anything was to happen, no, don't disappear. you guys have got the skills <laughs> and the knowledge and the resources yes. to yes. make your own decisions and for better or for worse, you know, continue trading, you know, profitably and successfully, right? Exactly like that. Yeah. It's, it's exactly Excellent. Like that. So, so how does fun, how did fundamentals? Because we we use fundamentals and technicals, but yep. specifically we're more fundamentally driven, right? Yep, yep. Um, what is it about fundamental analysis um, that really kind of helps with your technicals? Putting it on a chart, um, 
um, and knowing and knowing and not I'm not gonna say looking into like unknown where it's gonna know because nobody knows what direction the market's gonna go. That's that's one hundred percent sure. But understanding that um um the way how it's going to lead into that direction because mm. as soon as we know that or as soon as we can sense by certain data um that a certain number may come out, a certain reading may come out, we know where it, it can affect mm. um which actually we by looking at a chart and putting that on a chart and saying yes I could see this this is this is an opportunity it's come down to a value area yeah. I can take advantage of the, of this because my fundamentals are telling me strongly it can go into into this direction. Yeah. Um. It, it's 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 always putting it on a chart and putting it together. Like when I look at a chart, I don't I don't see candlesticks and and patterns and price. I see what's been happening fundamentally. Like I think you've seen once or twice my charts. You see little notes. Yeah. Yeah. Hanging. Yeah. You know, it's 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 all notes to keep to remind me sort of, of what's course. been happening here, what's been happening there. Why did the Bank of Japan uh, do this? Why did the Bank of Italy do this or the Fed do this? And we can sort of, as we're putting that together and understanding, and 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 every time like we speak about it in the group, bang, there's an idea. Bang, there's an idea. Let's go for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, looking at uh, price charts to kind of determine a direction is very a difficult thing to do. Right. I mean, in terms of in terms of if, I mean, and I always say this, right, if I could trade without fundamentals, it would be fantastic. Right. If you know, it would be brilliant because it would it save me a lot of uh, I wouldn't say fundamentals a headache, but, you know, the, the fundamental side of things, you wouldn't necessarily need to kind of look at the banks and do what they're doing. But, you know, how can you how can you kind of ignore that and choose to ignore how you know why prices really move right which is basically yeah. the fundamental side of things and if you know that for example a central bank is hiking rates and another one is holding rates then i mean look at for example you know a really good trade we were talking about it earlier today in the, in the uh, in the members group was a uh, euro cad right look how many people were on that oh, euro cad yes. trade yes. you know and it was you know really obvious not everything's going to be as obvious as that but or going to work out like that but when it does work out it's just you know it's it's brilliant it's 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 almost like clockwork it has to work out like that right because we understand the fundamentals um so 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 Fundamental analysis helps with your, I guess, your directional technical analysis bias, right? Because yes. you can either buy at support, sell at resistance, um, buy at dem uh, demand, sell at supply. But which way is are you going to, you know, you, are you planning to trade? Is the is the question, right? And fundamentals, I guess, you know, helps helps with that. Great. Help helps us give us our, our our direction, our clear direction on on how the how the market like even by understanding you know what's happening we can understand the auction is uh, the market's coming into an auction for a certain period of time because the market's still not ready to move yeah. they're still feeling insecure yeah yeah, yeah. it's it's, it's, it's it. yeah really... brilliant yes. so so what were some of the uh, light bulb moments you know that you've had since joining trading 180 because there's always there's always that <laughs> aha moment i used to get them all the time with mark <laughs> just just it's just like, pfft, it's, just, you know what I mean? It'd be like moments. When I first came into trading one, one, one of the best things I remember when Ken and and that mentioned to me when I was a beginning, you know, was told me, Alex, the best thing you can do as a beginner, stop trading for a while, do that course, keep away from those old habits. And you you also mentioned this this in your in your um in the course, and um which is basically the first thing i did now i'll get to the light bulb this is how it's all basically started mm -hmm. and um one of the first things i did do and i and as i was going through as a, as i was actually trading mufgs what they were coming out with mm -hmm. i was doing what they were saying you know right. putting those big gaps those big this like long term yeah how well, bankers think how, yeah. I was trying to adapt there. That's where I got a lot of my reading from and my and trying to follow their their, their way. And these are bankers, like you said, these are the smartest guys in the room. Like, yeah. like these guys, you know. Mm. And as time was developing, like imagine like this was eight months into 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 the group, and I was 
trying to think for myself and 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 one of my my trades that sort of come I thought of okay this is an opportunity now was the um in December mm. when I when the first Bank of Japan came out with that with that yield curve control yeah and as that was developing um my first idea like when my clearly my on my own and I and I was um as we were all the rumors were Bank of Japan um one to um control the yield con, the yield, yield yield curve yeah yield curve control and then but there was also positive um it was a positive environment for the dollar for the US dollar mm-hmm. and um basically it was more the positive that's coming out was um how the the US dollar was more like small data nothing's really serious but retail traders were pushing the price up and and it's it wasn't it wasn't really um a push from a main you know um, um it wasn't the main driver it wasn't main driver yeah. yes yeah, it wasn't even, the main yeah. driver and um as it reached that point i said this is bank of japan because like because i had my fundamentals on the chart and i could see my notes and said yes this is where the yield curve control is now they've reached it and all this time this up move is it's it's not really serious it's like this thing's going to mm. come down mm. as i'm seeing the how everything was coming um and we also had some new some slightly negative news of 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 the of the US dollar that bang that's when i jumped in right and that following weekend that's when mfu mentioned that 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 play i go oh, wow how yeah. did i do this yeah this is yeah. my this is my 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 how right. my oh. fundamentals came together you may right. take it take it it took time yeah took time. i'm a, i'm i'm like i've said i'm not i've uh, i'm a slow thinker i'm not a slow thinker my Me my too. Main, Me my too. Yeah, my main, I love analyzing. It's because like I, when I analyze and research, I I get this mostly from my from my work because when I troubleshoot, when I troubleshoot at motherboards and electronic boards, and when you're putting the mathematics down and putting all the how amplif- how amps work, how ohms yeah. work, and voltage, and trying to figure out, it's a whole different process way of thinking. But when you come to the to the to the fundamentals. And through time, I've developed a whole different way of thinking. Mm-hmm. Okay? One of them is patience. Yeah. I've learned that from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta be patient, right? I've learned that from patient. you. Yeah. Sit down, take a breather, sit back, open it, see what's happening uh, from yeah. the bigger broad. Yeah, and that's macros, what helped yeah. me. And putting all that together into this light bulb moment. That's that's what that was the result. And I I feel good. It's, yeah, it's, I, I you know good. what I I I know I know that feeling, right? It's yeah. when, as you say, you have an, an idea, and before we, because we read several bank reports, some of them being yeah. MUFG, Citibank, etc. And it's you know you have the i the trade idea before you actually read it in the bank analysis, and it's almost like they're just confirming what you think, yes. and yes. then it's almost like, well, I'm thinking like the bank now. It's when you start developing that, yeah, that, that that's type exactly of thing. You're yes. starting to that's exactly it, right? And so yes. um that's a that's a that's a great thing. It, it, I mean, obviously the banks have vast amount of data, you know, all these complex, you know, uh, um uh, models that they use to value currencies, etc. But at the heart of it, it comes down to GDP, interest rates, inflation, yes. risk sentiment. Yes. All in order. I mean, Yes, that's exactly it. So, so yes. as long as you know the relationship between those and you master the relationship between those, then you can start to see how the banks really start to, you know, I mean, position themselves. Where that positions. That's yeah, exactly. how I got. That's how I got into the one hundred five as well. Euro USD. It's 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 a. Um, it was developing. It was happening. And as as I was watching price come to that level, I go, this is not an opportunity. Yeah. Take it. Bang. Yeah. You just you do it once you can start feeling and like I said patience it does need that patience as you always say guys take take your time you would see price will yeah. come to that level at some time yeah remember we were back. waiting remember, yes. I don't know if you see the chart we were looking yes. at that right we were looking at this and at the yes. time it took 
probably around what's that i would say uh, quite a few days you took a few yeah 22 days so maybe about yep. about a month of trading right month trading days right to kind of come down and i had done this analysis from you know way back here we were waiting for it to come yes. down weren't we yes. waiting for it to come down i mean i didn't actually even enter this imagine that i did the analysis i didn't enter it right i was waiting for prices to kind of actually stop hunt a bit more down into the 105 round number and it didn't actually get there. It was a few pips before that. I ended up getting into the Euro CAD anyway. So I was in the cut and, and the Euro, I was in the Euro, um, Euro Swiss or the Euro pound at the time. So I didn't want to take on too much Euro risk. Do you know what I mean? As I as I say, there's only really two Euro pairs. Yeah. But um, but you know, I know you, I think Ken, Daniel, you know, uh, I think Rishi and Bob said today, quite, yeah, quite all energy. ended up buying yes. in and around this area. Do you know what I mean? The 105s. And now look at that. Look at where prices, you know, are pretty much uh, for, you know, three, 400 pips up. Right. And this analysis is we've done based purely off of the fundamentals first. 100 percent. Knowing because how long have 100%. we been how long have we been long on the euro for, for, for a while? Right. For a good yep. maybe quarter or so, maybe beginning yes. of the year. Yes. Do you know what I mean? And it's yes. just waiting for that pullback, being patient. Yes. Like you say, yeah. So light bulb moments um doing the analysis by yourself and then actually reading that analysis and reconfirming it yeah and re and even, that even, even and the, the group is inside the group like and and it's the good thing is about when i'm in the group and i'm mentioning the trade and there was at one point i was feeling insecure i go should i and when it reached that high point i go should, should i get out and i and i put my my i showed my how i bought that yeah in the group and ken goes hold just hold <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i love it when he does that ken, ken told it. me to hold. <laughs> just hold, just hold just don't hold trust me because yeah. just hold now yeah. you know it's just yeah the, i mean there's trust, a time trust to take the fundamentals yes yeah there's a time to take profits of course do you know what i mean yes. and there's a time to take partial profits etc and we never we'll never know we'll never capture the exact highs and you know in, in, in the perfect trade right you have to be set out your uh your your i guess your plan first of all you know i mean know where you want to take profits if it reaches know when you want to hold etc if the fundamentals uh reinforcing i guess those ideas as well you that can give you the um the confidence to hold even more because as you say sometimes you might look at your unrealized profit you know what yeah. i mean and be like oh i want to take profit i want to take profit you're we oh, all it comes it, so right? many times oh wow it comes this is this is yeah psychology you've mentioned you've got a few things when you mentioned inside the course and it's oh they yeah. they sit down you know take a breather look at the picture it's just yeah psychology yeah. plays a big role it plays and i think once i even mentioned i was a book on i was in a, I, I put i put somewhere in the in the group as well i think i put it back up again in the group it's um um it's got to do with an economic it was in a um, psychology an economic um guy wrote it Oh, I keep on forgetting. I got the book somewhere inside. Hold on. Just moment. Yeah, I got it somewhere inside. Okay, no worries. It, it's just all about psychology, and it just right. always mentions how important and it's what you mentioned in the course mm. and how, yeah, how psychology plays a big role and how this, that's, that's number one. That's number one, right? Your trading psychology is number one. Forget your technical strategy and your fundamentals, yep. because if you haven't got your psychology right, then you know it's just not going to work right you're just not yep. going to make it work because of your because of your psychology so 100 percent, and um you know it's something that we're always improving yep. on always you're never going to get to that point where it's like oh i've mastered my psychology you know i have the moment same as you guys same as everyone we're all my, my daughter went and got it for me <laughs> oh okay this is the one ah Sweet. thinks is it think slow yeah it's, it's from think an fast, economist and, yes thinking fast and slow right yeah matt matt z sort of i was speaking with her and i was waiting for it to come and i just got this book as well right and this one here as well and it says it's yeah it's it's a, it's a great book for for anyone that wants to get into the psychology of trading brilliant it doesn't speak about trading but it speaks about this like and it, despite an, an economist writing it yeah and he, he gets into depth psychology on why we think the way we think where we yeah. want to get out of the a yeah, position. and we can adapt those yes. principles. Yes, you know, yes. to uh, to trading. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thanks for the recommendation to uh, to uh, the listeners and the watchers. And uh, finally, just to wrap this up, I guess, um, you know, what recent, I guess, uh, fundamental trade idea uh, are you most proud of? It'll probably be the Euro USD or and the Euro Japan. Euro Japan, because it was my first, that and that and that okay. kept 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 me. 
um, sort of um, thinking about the whole process. The, and that developed that helped me develop into the Euro SD as well. Right. Wow. Um, um, and sort of coming, sort of putting the pieces together. And now, like I'm also, I'm also starting to look at one or two pairs, like like the one we mentioned with, with the cat early on in the in the in the group today. Okay. Um, and and like I said, you know, um, on the um, cat Australian, the Australian cat. Yeah, um, the Aussie cat. Yes, it's in, it's in the position right now that 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 I'm um, looking at it. Thinking about it, I've got my negativism positive. Putting the fundamentals together, listen to what the banks are saying, what market's priced in now. Yeah, this is it's worth waiting for. Waiting for Tuesday, see what will the bank do because there's a divergence here. There's a divergence in that trade. Yeah, there's a strong divergence there. This is an opportunity. Potential, yeah, yeah, potential for this for 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 at least an, a, a prolonged divergence. If the yes. uh, if the the RBA are a bit hawkish, right? Yes, it's an opportunity. That's an opportunity. Yeah. That's a clearly fundamental opportunity there. Yeah, it's just yeah, like um, yeah, as I'm starting to develop this, this this is what makes me feel, you know, yeah, like you say, it's th it's thank you to you. It's 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 ah, there. It's thank just, you, man. It's thank you to you, you and the whole the whole the whole T one eighty community. It's, and it's, also as well, you've done the work, right? Because. Ultimately, that, it I comes can... down to wanting, wanting. Yes, yeah, wanting that's exactly work, work it, ethic. Right? I think that's work exactly. work ethic plays. There, there were more only positive things coming into trading. My work ethic, which I've had from as a young child, and mm -hmm. um, and and I was thinking about mathematics, which actually didn't really play a big role in trading. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe small bits and pieces it does help out, but yeah, in yeah. You think you think you think you need to be a maths whiz yes. to trade, right? Yeah, the uh, I mean, maths isn't my strong point either, you know. But um, you you would you would think that you know maths you'd have to be a maths wizard to trade and yes, but it's not. not. It's actually not. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Um, so talk a little, just a little bit, expand, I guess, on the we will go back to the the, the, the dollar yen um trade. You said you got in around the where was it that you got in around? Right there. Yes, yes, yes. At the one three sevens. Yes, right on okay. top. Right on top. I do. I do um, um, use a bit of uh, auto flow too, and so I could see it sort of um, um, as as prices are moving. Right. No, as I know what my fundamental is at that point. Like right. On your left, where you started in that on that supply zone. Yeah. On the tw that's the twenty second of December. That I know that date there because I know. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, twentieth. The twentieth. Yeah, I remember you mentioned sorry, the today. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because of, I I know that's a very important date there. That's the date when they first mentioned the yield curve control, which yeah. is one of the um, strongest points. It's a point where we have to keep a lookout for in the future wow. when that. So I marked that from the past. That today they mentioned it. Yeah, it's a very strong fundamental move. Yeah, it's a and, bank divergence. So it's what and it's what we said today. How a lot of Japanese have put out a lot of money. They've put a lot of money into out, outside of their own country. It's yeah, foreign foreign, foreign investments, yes, right? Foreign yeah. foreign investment. Mm -hmm. So this is can be a big change in 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 looking into the future. So if if and price can be driven back up to that point. Retail yeah, trades can push all that price up. They, you know, and, and and when price did come back up there, the fundament nothing really changed fundamentally. Mm. Nothing yeah. really changed around there fundamentally. In in February, in February, um, it was that strong non-farm payroll that came out, which sort of yeah did push that uh, the I think it was the um the, the non-farm payroll came out. Yeah, it was like the five hundred and seventeen thousand yes, number, yes. wasn't it? Yeah, that's a was a very important day to to keep on the calendar. And the other one was uh, um the, the the CPI report. Yeah, um those those two sticky and sticky inflation. Yes. Yeah. This this was a, enough confirmation to tell us that okay, um there's a there is a strong divergence here. Like the Bank of Japan is is, and um in a much more better state. And also the rumors around the Japanese yen, which does help yeah. that the Japanese yen will, um, um, that markets are ready to price in on what the rumors around the Japanese yen. And yeah. when you reach that, that point there, all the fundamentals were leading the Japanese in, in a much more better situation. That's why you can see going straight up, straight down. Yeah. It wasn't holding up there as much as previous. Because if you look at the previous, 
level, um, um, around the December level, that the, the, the that level, mm-hmm. it, all up there was all that time of thinking what the what would the um the Bank of Japan do? How mm-hmm. was the US was the 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 CPI inflation was starting to sort of drop a bit, mm-hmm. and compared to this, there was no like markets were not reacting on right. on the compared compared to the other side like it was a big a big difference in reaction and right. and the divergence was right there yeah we could yeah it was it was a clear it was a clear divergence yeah excellent the, the bank was yeah central bank of um of japan was um yeah yeah excellent trade and it didn't and it also helped that um you know there was a bit of a banking crisis as well yes. <laughs> right you know what i mean yes yeah that's bb bank safe haven yeah safe, safe haven, haven. Awesome. plays as well you know came into that yield curve control there was a lot of uh uh ticks involved in that and um in terms of uh confluence and so you know because ultimately what are we looking at here we're saying that the the, the price was a bargain for the yen at this point and it was driven by um potential yield curve control uh rumors right and then when prices came back up to here whoever missed out on their uh on on yes. a trade around here now managed to get involved yeah, in, there. in correct in, you know in in yield curve the control idea around here which now is starting to ramp up as well again as we get closer to april um you know may june next- nobody knows exactly when timing is always going to be an issue but ultimately, the, you got the direction right, which is which is what counts. Yep, correct. Even if you go back onto the December, that was a chance where if if you don't know if you don't follow follow fundamentals, if you look even before that, behind that, you would see a lot of people would have been going up because going across. Yes, you see, going across, like it's like said, okay, this is coming close to. There's this price action. They're saying this thing might be going up. Right. Yeah. That's looking only at the technical levels. If you if you're not following the fundamentals, because we're following the fundamentals, we can clearly like come to understand that as soon as yeah. this this information came out to us, we know this price is gonna help us in the future. Future wise, that it will mm-hmm. give us a clear direction on on which way we're going. So we're looking at this way, say okay, this could be a you know a, a double bottom or a, yeah. You know, create yeah, going which, up for a double top, whatever, whichever way you you could you could see see it as a as, as a technical. Like, yeah, I, I don't even look, look at the technical no more. I like like I, <laughs> I, I not I to, not go, to determine not to determine direction anyway. Yes, no, yes, you know yeah, what I mean. Not to determine yeah. the direction. Yeah, funder, I mean the technical is definitely definitely one hundred percent help. But I understand what you're saying in terms of you know traders would have you know who uh, trend traders. You know, you're looking at. Um, traders probably getting involved in terms of they're seeing the immediate trend to the downside but you know there would have been you know some sort of traders that would have been like thinking okay well that's a level that's a level of demand etc and then probably looking at you know maybe some sort of reversal and all of a sudden it starts to uh it starts to drop away right it starts to drop away and then all of a sudden but the, but this the, what's key is is that fundamentally as to why it moved yes right that's the key and then yes. understanding here, yes, was the yen a bargain against the uh, the dollar? The dollar at that point, right. yes, we fall. That is the key. And then you look for your entries in and around there, and that's what happened. Excellent. Thank you, Alexandros, for the interview. Leon, I really, I really, you, really appreciate, appreciate. I thank you coming across your video. Like it's it's that video that like it's what and it's 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 truly you, you have the patience that that. You explain you. This is this is one. I think God's giving you this gift. Oh, you, thank you. He, he, he has he, he, you because it's the way you explain things to people that you you help them understand. It's your yeah. patience because I can be a real pain when I start. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> when I no, when I don't stop talking. And it, no, and 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 this is a good point, right? It's a good point that you make is because the reason why you are where you are is because you ask the questions, right? In the same way that with with when I was being mentored um, by Mark, um, I would do the same thing as you would do, right? I would ask him questions. I would pick his brain, and he was gracious enough and patient enough um, to to help me to understand. And this is what I think um, you need in trading, 
right? Because you can yeah. watch a thousand. I watched a thousand videos. I did, Mindful. you know, uh, before before, before, me, before meeting Mark, right? I took, Nothing out bought, uh, you know, uh, tens of indicators that cost tens of thousands of pounds. You know, joined every course, but it was that one to one. Um, you know, group the fact that I could call the person, not necessarily call me anytime, you know what I mean. But it just, just you can put your questions in the in the call. I'll get back to you. Um, DM me. I'll you know make videos for you, for example. You know, and you have yes, you know, and exactly just like that. Can continue exactly like to be, that. you know, to continue to support you. You know what I mean, and 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 all traders, and um, and yeah, I just want to say thank you for you know for for the interview. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you to you for <laughs> helping me get my retirement properly. Uh, <laughs> it's like I cool. own you. I like, and I've always said, like, and I'm gonna say, I've said to all the people in the community, yeah. whenever you guys come to Greece, man, lunch is on me always. And I, I'm uh, waiting for you in Athens. I'm waiting for you to come to Athens. Brilliant, brilliant. I've been to Greece. I've been to Greece. We went to um, went to yes. Malia. I went to Malia. And we went to Halkidiki. Yeah, Halkidiki. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very nice out there. Very, I think when I went out there, um, me and my wife, we, um, I think there was a forest fire around there. In 2007. Yeah, saying. it was 2007. Yeah, there was a forest fire. Um, I think we just missed it. We kind of came in yeah. afterwards. Yeah. But we went to like um, a really kind of picturesque place. Um, uh, and it was really, really nice. But um, but yeah, if I'm ever in Athens, mate, I'm going to give you a call and we're going to link up. Yeah. All Thank right, you, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Um, is there anything you want to say to maybe the, the listeners who are still listening? Trust this guy. Trust him. It's 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 I'm I'm uneducated. I learned he helped me put me in a position to understand. If that cannot explain anything, like I don't know what we it's it's just he truly does help you from my heart, it truly helps. Thank you, man. It puts you in a position much. that way you will learn. Thank you. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You. And thank you. Thank you again for the interview. And uh, thanks for listening to the listeners. Thank you for listening. And if you do want to join Trading 180, um, uh, go to the Trading 180 website and uh, see if there's um, an enrollment uh, slot. If there's not, then there will be one probably soon because I tend to just, um, uh, I guess, um, have them open every maybe couple of months as it you know keeps the group small but also focused and concentrated, which I think is better than having it open, at, you know, all hours and days and people kind of come in and then they get lost in the sea of, you know, maybe people and comments and chats. And, you know, I like to keep the group small. And so, it's nice. yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice community, great community, helpful community. And uh, thank you to everybody in the community, including you, Alexandros, because I know you help out whenever you can and guide the new traders and uh yeah thank you very much and uh brilliant guys take care thank you speak to you soon yeah bye mate bye all right bye